Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, you are not going to believe what happened. Oh, I'm so excited I can hardly believe it myself. <laughs> What's up? Chris resigned. What, he didn't want to take his holidays? Never offered. He found out what Paul was doing and said he wanted out. That's brave. I feel like crap. No, it's not your fault, mate. Well, it's not his either. I mean, the poor kid's already gone through hell. The accident, Sophie. Then tomorrow he's got to front up at court and live the whole thing again. And he's still got Paul hanging over his head intent on suing him. I just don't think he deserves to lose his job as mate, well. Mate, mate, mate. I know you feel bad for him. But if Paul wrecks your business, you'll both be out of work. What's the good of that? I just hate letting down a mate. Yeah, I know. But look, he's not alone. He's got his family, his friends. Still, trust me. He's got plenty of support. You'll be OK. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, so you didn't. Uh, you having trouble sleeping? Mm, having my tea should fix it. Just got things going around my head, that's all. Well, it's not surprising. You've been through a lot. Did you honestly think that a token gift would make up for what you did? No, that's not what I was trying to oh, do. Oh, guilt appeased, is it? Not at all. You stay away from her, understood? I'm just trying to help. The last thing I need from you is your help. Now here, I hope you get a refund for those, because pretty soon you're going to need every cent you can get. OK, come on, Chris. Mr Robinson, please. What more can I do? I've said I'm sorry, and I mean it. I've quit my job. I'm not contesting any of the charges in court today. You're going to sue me for everything that I own. Isn't that enough? Nothing makes up for what you did. Never will. But there's still prizes, though, that you probably win one of those. Eh? <sighs> Cheer up. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, sure. Oh, Hi, that's a pretty good turnout. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, it's oversubscribed. What? Totally booked out. Can't let you in. Sorry. Well, it doesn't look that busy. It, it is when you get inside. Oh, I've taken time off work, especially to come and see this painting of yours. You know what I could do? I could bring it around to your place one day, and that would give you time to appreciate it properly. Oh, nonsense, Lou. This is your big moment. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, look, there's AJ. <laughs> hey. Didn't expect to see you here. What time's the uh, hearing? It's not for another hour. Just filling in some time. Yeah, he didn't want to go home. His mum and dad are driving him nuts. Yes, I've heard. You're up. So, how are you feeling? It's a bit like waiting for an operation. Just want to get it over and done with. Yeah, fair enough. I'm more worried about afterwards, actually. Being at home with nothing to do. Dad's already on my case about getting a new job. Start sending out my CV tomorrow. No, forget about that. I want you to come back and work with me. As soon as you're finished in court. <laughs> But, but I resigned, you accepted. I wasn't fishing for sympathy. Yeah, I know, I know you weren't. I, I want you back. What about Paul? Don't do this. Well, Kate, stay out of it. Wrong.